like the, the bigger ones are the phase trees when you can actually combat it again. Yeah, that's one of the bigger ones that I'm not doing. And the flops as well. The flops are just depending on where I am though. Like the way I play it, it's kind of hard for me to catch the flop. Unfortunately. Like on the head instantly. I should have stayed in the ground. Hold on, let me fix my earpiece. Yeah, it's entangling up, so the vibration. <laughs> I'm hearing all my button pressing because the the wire touches my controller's wire. That's not good. It's very distracting. <laughs> One second. Then playing long so you don't get you get anxious if you don't hit the monster. It's quite normal for un unless you're very good at it, right? It's quite normal to miss some hits on longsword. Yeah. Unless you are perfect in your positioning. Yeah, it's quite often. Even if sometimes I, I thought that I'm in the position to counter stuff, right? Yeah, my hits don't connect sometimes. Unfortunately. I would love to make it 100%, but usually it's about 80 to 90%. the flinch. I lost count there.
Oh, oh, oh. oh, the flinch and then the flop. Oh, gosh. Ugh. Okay. Ouch. It's coming. Staying outside. Not good though. I like it's it's quite obvious that I'm not doing that well because my sharpness. I mean, we did have a double Yai slash combo at the end though, so it is up quite a little bit. But if you're doing really well, you should be in purple all the time. That means I'm not doing that great. <laughs> Depends on RNG as well, but most of the time you can keep yourself at purple. get a very good slash out. Oh, mistake. I should have stayed outside. Yeah, I should have stayed outside. I've got a more hits there on the head. More damage. Yo, Foxy. Happy Thursday. How's the Christmas week, man? What's up? Going down to New Year, dude. New Year is like <laughs> New Year is three days away, man. <laughs> yeah, New Year is three days away. <laughs> three days. Yep. 
Oh, it pushed me in. Oh, I might be dead. Ugh. Yeah, that was me. That was for me. I didn't. Unless it's face, I'm dead. Yeah, nice. Okay, we need to heal first. Yeah, my mistake there. I didn't uh, adjust properly. I roll badly there. Punish. Oh well. Worth a try. Yeah, that was bad. Because of a wind pressure. It's okay. We need to uh, sharpen here though. I miss all the timings. Damn it. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I have to watch out for flops as well. It's roaring. And I broke the chest when it raw. I was lucky there. It's flying up. Are you serious? I'm early this time, man. This is when I low roll. Ah, uh, I'm early this time, and it. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely early this time. It's not even ten minutes yet. It flies off. <sighs> yeah, unfortunate, man. chest this is a good adjustment there i was waiting for it not not waiting but you know i was planning like practicing for it for the past weeks i finally got one <laughs> too bad it's a bad run though to start with Got the the wing. Okay. Go 
going for the YOLO play here. Not fast enough though. This is like 12. Yeah. Oh, Andrena is max. Yeah, it's important, right? You get uh, you get eight attack speed, right? But if you have more, uh, yeah, as you said, twenty-two. If you have more uh, potential, it's a lot, man. Eight, eight attack speed in normal normal uh, mode is pretty much it's it's a lot. It's a lot, right? It's not a lot when you're playing IS three like it, like integrated. Uh, strategy that sort of content like the the road like content because you can get a lot more with the uh, uh, the buffs right but yeah in in normal mode it is a lot mm. whoa this ending scene is amazing <laughs> Oh, this is good, man. Maximum power! <laughs> Exploding on the chest. That's pretty good. Yeah, Andrian, I... I don't have LMD though, unfortunately. And I remember, right? Uh, I think... I'm I'm saving my resources because I I might need to build something of for the EX stages later, that comes out like tomorrow morning I think. Tonight or tomorrow morning? Yeah, it sucks, man. It, it, the the new stages doesn't come out my my day off. Ah, uh, so yeah, I I am saving my resources for now. So once I clear it and I know that you know. I I I'm I'm I'm, I'm safe. Um, to spend my resources, I will build a, a unit after that. It's either I I level up my uh, uh, my abyssal hunters and get some of the modules upgraded, or I level up executor outer. Because I remember executor outer is good for the next event. I think like one of the harder event. He is very good at it. So you know, I have to depend. It depends on the 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 event we are getting. Yes, I remember I, I read about some, like I watched uh, some of the update YouTube, like update videos. And I was, I was, I, I remember someone mentioned, I can't remember who it was it though, was mentioning that Executor Router is good for some, some event. I, I might be wrong though, Foxy. I, I might be wrong, but I am pretty sure I remember someone said it before. He is quite useful against some of the upcoming events, uh, content, like one of them. I might be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure, man, I heard that, that, that statement before, somewhere. So, yeah. You're well prepared. You're level... He's level 90, right? Can you know 700? No, is, isn't it 300? It doesn't stack, right? It's per hit. It's like 300 or 350. There's a chance. You, you can't stack the, the defense, right? Oh, the skill tree. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I only know the value from module. Because I haven't built him yet, so I haven't read the skill fully. Yeah, I think he's one of the highest physical, uh, physical damage dealer in game right now. If I if I remember correctly, but he has a lot of RNG involved, like some RNG involved though. But usually he average out pretty well because of the amount of times he hit uh, from on his skills when he triggers and stuff. Like on average, he he is pretty good. But you know, there's always true damage de damage dealer. Those are those are the 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 bread and butter.
Pauset, uh, Milnar. Yeah, those are very, very good. Like, I think Milnar was my. It's currently my most used uh, unit uh, on hard stages. Like, the, the harder stages where you just have a lot of stuff to clear and you need to wipe them off the map really, really. Like, you know, the tanky stuff. Or you want to wipe off a lot of stuff at the same time. It's either Silver Ash does okay, but Milnar is just crazy good, man. Yeah, my, my Milner is level 80 though. He, he is not level 90, unfortunately. And nowadays, right, I, I don't... I don't... I don't use Milner when he's fully buffed though, most of the time. He is strong enough to, to be like, you know, to cast a skill whenever ready. That's how crazy he is, he is right now, man. Yeah, and for 90, you get a few attack uh, boosts. A few. Unless you're doing like... Min-maxing stuff, where... Like, a bit of a health does matter. Uh, yeah, 80 to 90, usually you stay at 80. 90 is... Because from 80 to 90, you can level up another character, man. To the same level. Like to 80. So 80 to 90 is just really, really crazy expensive. I have only two characters on 90 though. Uh, one of them is Chen Outer. One of them is Ling, the Dragon Lady. Yeah. That leader, I, I I still use I still use Ling very very much nowadays. But Chen Outer is a little bit on the lower side nowadays, unfortunately. He was very very dominating though when I start play when I started playing Out Nights. Like everywhere you go, right? It's Chen Outer. Ow. Oh my bad. I need to roll there. I was stuck in the animation. Does Milner hitbox is much easier to set up. He can hit someone at the same line as well. Uh, same as him. Chen you can't though. Chen has to hit in front of her. And on a range tile, it's pretty hard to set it up sometimes. She still does good damage though. She, she still does good damage, but, you know, she is more squishy and uh, harder hitbox, like harder to set up hitbox, like his, her, her aerial effect, right, is very hard to set up sometimes. The slow is good. And the double shot as well. A lot of damage. But the thing is, right, units are getting more and more tanky, man. More and more tanky. And there's a lot of effects, right? Like dodge. Uh, mainly dodge. So if you don't hit the target, right? Like the past few like big events. It sucks, man. <laughs> Yeah, dash is the mechanism I really, you know, am not looking forward to in fighting against most of the time. Other than that, I'm okay though. Dash is a problem. Yeah, wasted bullets. No time to rise.
elemental damage. My flop here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no LMD, man. Oh, bad roll. I'm a poor doctor. In game, in game. I am a poor, poor doctor, man. No LMD all the time. Terra. Good enough. Yeah, man, Foxy. I want to upgrade my Abyssal Hunters, man. But it's just that the the, the LND required to like level three all the modules and stuff, and even the level to unlock the module, right? It's a lot, man. Yeah, it's just a lot, a lot of investment. But at least mo all my Abyssal Hunters are E2 now, though. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, you know, what's left is the LMD for levels and modules. I think I'm okay on material side though. Should be alright. I made a mistake there. It's taking too much time, so I had to do that. Yeah, the start of phase two is really, really, really bad. Okay, we got red. Miss E7, yeah. But nowadays, right? If I, you know, I need to burn my in, like sanity in game. Uh, I go for chips, my like farming chips, and stock them up. Or, you know, progression on story if I'm on my day off, I, I will do that. Did get ahead? No, chess. Too slow to catch that.
I almost made a mistake there. I almost pressed my R2 too early. We, without the double slash. Yeah, that's really bad. Need a heal? Uh. Oh, too early. My bad. Yeah, the roaming ballistas as well. And I wasn't, you know, doing vertical slash on neutral. Really, man. My bad. I played badly there. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> yeah, that was really bad. It's gonna fly? Oh, it's not flying. No, I'm slow. I should have gone for it instantly. Yep, that was greedy.
Not fast enough. Yeah, I'm very slow. Any kills? Yeah, I killed a few times just like one or twice just now. I can't remember. Eternal LMD. Yeah, it's better than farming Eternal Run 7 though, Foxy. Yeah, one seven is 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 a nightmare, man. Yeah, when I started playing out nights, like I was camping in one seven so much. <laughs> oh, so, current the current event is good though. The current event, the number six stage is uh, blue rocks, and the drop rate is really good. Sometimes I get two rocks in a row, like in the in the same run. It's really really good, man. Yeah, I think when you talk to like the older players, right, everyone is like, no, not the 1 7. Praise be the HE6. You'll be running around the arena trying to get essences. Which essences? You mean the drops from uh, Fatalist? Is that what you call it? Like essences? I don't know, I just, I never see, like, what is it called though? Yeah, nowadays if I want to buy, if I want to do like get rocks, right? It's either I spend the currency I I, I stock up, uh, or uh, you know those those purple currency, those are very very like they they come in good, man. When you need materials or the orange currency. Chapter ten, yeah, chapter ten is good as well. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's better than 1.7, right? Like, there, there are some updated stages. I don't farm stages material much, now, much nowadays, though. One seven is still better, no. <laughs> wow, well, like, the truth is 1.7 is still better, right? But in my mind, no. <laughs> I will go for other I will go for other um other stages. Yeah. Never man. One seven is just so nasty though. But it's good trust farming as well though. Yeah, if you want trust farming and you want stone, one seven is the best. But I, I rarely farm one seven nowadays. Because of how it's very sanity friendly, but it's very un in real life sanity unfriendly. Yeah, we are right there. We have the same like almost everyone, right? After you play Outnice for a few months, you 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 come to the same conclusion. Like it's very sanity friendly in terms of in-game sanity, but outside of game, like in real life, it's not good, man. It's just taking so much time. Oh, but um. I don't I don't know when which which patch is this. They have auto run. You can actually burn your uh like auto 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 restart. They're introducing that right? Like I think it's at Sometime after AR Outer or AR Outer patch, I can't remember. There's a uh, there's an auto auto restart function after that. But you still have to run the stage, right? It's not like um, what you get for any like an annihilation, where you where you just press uh, yes and then you fully jump to the result stage. I don't think so, right? You still have to run the stage. It's just that they auto run it for you. Don't have to out tap back. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like you can you can set it on and you can just leave your phone or your your emulator, uh you know not touch it. We got a few kills today though, but I'm not fast enough, unfortunately. 
Yeah, they have done some good QL changes. So I, I like the most is the annihilation changes. It was a pain, man, to run it every Monday. It's such a pain, man. 400 monsters. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Yeah, I think that's the best changes they made in WoW. Of course, there are other QOL, but... That, that's the biggest one, I think. I poke at the lag. I didn't have enough uh, Spirit Gauge. Oh, that sucks. Right. Try to get red. We need to flinch it down. <laughs> 30 minutes for run. <laughs> Yeah, especially when you're starting the game, right? You can only run the first few stage. Oh my lord. Yeah, that was a nightmare as well. But you cannot not run it though. Like, it's your main income per weight, man. Yeah, you have to run it. On Art Knights. There's no way you're skipping Annihilation. Unless you're really, really mega well. Yeah, that angle is not good. We can't even break that one. It might not sound like a lot, right? Three pulls. But it's a, it's a lot. <laughs> It's not nice, it's a lot, man. I I'm just waiting for the second fire within the set. I'm waiting for it, man. I can't wait for it to arrive. And I will be spending a few days on stream just to get it done. <laughs> oh, it'll be good. I enjoyed the first one though, even though a lot of people do, uh, did not. I quite enjoy it. Yeah. Especially learning along with you guys on the stream. It's a lot of fun, man. And a lot of people show up, right? Like, um, wow. Well, you know, my channel is super small, but quite a few people show up uh, and give me pointers, right, on what to do during the event. Yeah, that was super fun, man. And I, you know, I've heard good news about, like, good stuff about um, the mode, right? On the second version, they have made a lot of improvement as well. And it's permanent, if I remember correctly, so it's pretty good. Guy is doing full rotation. Yeah, I'm losing my red here. No foresight. No way. I'm sad. Oh, 
I got hit. By the puddle. Or the line. Not fast enough. Yeah, I want to catch a flame, but I just wasn't fast enough there. Not fast enough. Yeah, I shouldn't do that. My bad, my bad. So we need to roll the third for the third fireball. And then vertical slash and shift up instantly. That's what we need to do. My bad. I play badly there. Oslo. Mistake. I shouldn't shift up.
Oh, I might die. I might die here. Ah, yep. I was low on health already, and uh, her break right on the head is not enough for me to tank another fire. <laughs> not enough. Oh, the RNG. Damn it. Oh, that was rough. I should try to lash onto the dragon's body, but I think right, I was still very far though. Maybe I can though. I roll towards the body and then I flush off. That might be good enough to stay alive uh, a little bit. Just a little bit. I have to make sure that I don't jump down into the fire instantly though. Like drop down instantly. I might survive there. Yeah, there's a few things I need to do properly, uh, like the Superman dies if I commit to a big attack, or you know, uh, uh, the Clutch Claw as well. Uh, Garushike! Yo, what's up? The <laughs> goody! Now oh, the pressure! I'm good though, how about, how are you guys doing man? Welcome Garushike and goody. Hello, hello. All in, you believe? <laughs> Dude! I was talking to Foxy a while ago, like last week as well. The new, the new time they released the stages, I don't like it, man. But yeah, Garchi K, got runs are okay though. I killed the dragon a few times, but not fast enough. I hope you guys are doing well, man. And you know, had a good Christmas break as well. Well, I, I much prefer they release the new stage stages on Tuesday. Because that's when I am actually not streaming. New PV today? Dude, you guys are having so much confidence in my skills. <laughs> I mean, thank you, but, you know, probably, I will try my best, but it's hard though. That's why you guys are here, thank you man. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, I much prefer they release it on Tuesday, man. Really. But that's just me, though. You know, I can't be selfish, right? There must be a reason why they changed it to Thursday. Oh, gosh. Uh, the lines were too close to me on my back. It's not good. I have a question though. Like, is Typhoon right after this event or do we have a rerun? I can't remember. If she's right after this event, oh boy, it's gonna be rough. I know Typhoon and Ear Outer, they are coming uh, into the game. So. But yeah, I might, I'd much rather they release the, the event stages at the same, like the usual time. Which is Tuesday for me. That's, that's my, my, like, my relaxing Tuesday morning, man. 
But I don't stream on Tuesday, right? I take my day off on Tuesday. So, you know, I wake up and I have my coffee and I do the stages. That's what I do most of the time. But, you know. I should have foresighted. My bad. I didn't roll. I didn't get the iframe there. 